Um, Good evening, everyone. Yeah, so we're going to talk about Mango, um, Manyan, Crystal, Lee Tong, and Madeline Chang. So, Mango is founded in Barcelona in Spain and by Isaac Endek and Naman Endek and first talk is at Barcelona facility in 1984. <laughs> so, the um, market position is Mango is an uh, affordable price and their unit size is quite high in the market, high position in the market. So, the target audience <coughs> is for the segment fashion women in the middle age group and the target order is we will more focus on women upper middle and upper class. The unique selling point is fashion from Spain and change fashion in time they have new fashion in according to the new trend. So uh, Mango target profile is they are 22 years old, the uh, college student who looking for peer load when going to school. So, uh, it will motivate by like to be a simple and easy. And prefer marketing channel with, on Facebook and Instagram because nowadays people go more looking for the advertisement through Facebook and Instagram. Uh, next of all is Sophia, 38 years old, is a working woman and also confident when wearing an elegant shirt. And prefer marketing channel will be on Facebook and email. So, the reason to believe RTB is Mango present of store at prime location has given the brand a strong footing in terms of the overall brand equity. And Mango also have strong brand present with a goal to be present in every city of the world and have 2,000 stores around 100 countries. And the RTM movie is provided in men's wear too has been success as a part of their diversification strategy which have a lot of style to the man also. So Mango implement a new business model based on sustainability and more environment friendly process that the retailer launched in last year. Because now they will be more go green, so they will also make an environment friendly shirt to the Mango customer. So now we have to be talk. So now I will talk about the competitor analysis. So basically there are two competitors with H and H&M and Zara. For H and M, like everyone of us will know this brand and it's a Swedish company and also is one of the famous and largest fast fashion company in the world. Yeah. So basically they focus on style and fashion as their main concern and also they're selling their product at uh, affordable price. And also they did very well in digital marketing strategy which you can see their advertisement on social media such as YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and also Twitter so and so on. So the next competitor will be Zara. So Zara is a very famous fast fashion brand and they produce the latest trend product within a very short time. For example, they, do, they have very good consumer insight and knowing what consumer want. So they will produce their product within two weeks, means 10 to 15 days. So they will be aware of what's the uh, sudden popularity product that worn by celebrities or what. And also they're selling their product at affordable price and good quality. And they have super efficient supply chain, which means that if they produce a new product, they will send it to the Zara store within 10 to 15 days. And every two weeks, they will renew their product, replace with a new design. And for the excellent distribution management, uh, they will produce the existing product and will deliver to the store within two weeks. And also, if there's any uh, item that is not so good selling, they will withdraw and replace with a new design. So the marketing gap is for Mango is the design is not up to date. They are more focused on comfortable and uh, last during durable design like in Delhi sweater which is not fashion but comfortable and they are weaker present in social media compared to their competitors as you can see you cannot uh, we are very see the advertisement on social media digital platform youtube those and uh, they are inability to adapt to the new market as they are not following the trend as well for the market differentiation for mango the diversity 
diversification of product line where after they are actually focused on movement but after that they realize there are many opportunities to open new segments such as men, kids and accessories such as sunglasses girls. And then affordable price, their price is actually cheaper than among H&M and Zara and they often do promotions such as uh, mega sales and discount. Yeah. And the quality of the product, as I mentioned just now, they focus on comfortable and durable products. So their product is actually very good quality. So next I'm going to pass the slide to Madeline. So I'm going to talk about the strategic phase part two. So our objective is to build awareness for Mango Gives Back 2018 campaign and collection. So for the digital marketing tools, I'm um, going to talk about mailers. So we're going to use email to encourage new or existing uh, customer to visit our online store with newsletter. So the newsletter will contain special promotion, campaign, uh, our campaign Mango Gives Back 2018, uh, linked to direct Mango Malaysia website and also the link to direct to the social media platform. Then I'll also be talking about the UGC, which is also called as uh, user generated content. So we'll be doing the social media campaign where participant has to go through four steps, which is to take a creative picture of ways to give back to society with a volunteer mango t-shirt which, which is provided at every mango store in Malaysia and also post it on Instagram and Facebook, tag three friends and also tag Mango Official. Also hashtag Mango Gives Back 2018 and Mango Fashion Malaysia. And the top three most creative winners will be selected every Sunday at 11 a.m. to have a chance of receiving a RF150 cash voucher. Next will be the search engine. So based on my research from the hub, uh, this is the top 10 most popular phrase for Mango. And for the SEO will be hashtag Mango Fashion Malaysia, Mango Malaysia Online, and also Mango Gives Back 2018. And for the SEM will be on Facebook sponsor post and Instagram sponsor post and IG stories. And then for the influencer, we'll be collaborating with a Malaysian influencer for our campaign and where they have to contribute back to society. And the influencer have to post their contribution on their Instagram account and also stories. And they have to do a photo shoot in our Mango Gives Back 2018 collection for, for allowing audience to have a slight glimpse of our collection. And also, uh, they have to include the hashtag Mango Fashion Malaysia and Mango Gives Back 2018. For our campaign, we think that the suitable influencer will be Jin Lin and also Jen Chia. And lastly, for the content pillar, this will be published in fashion blogs, magazine, and also website. Next, I'll be passing over to Krista. And as what Eunice have mentioned just now, there's actually a marketing gap in our brand. And in order to solve it, we came up with a marketing gap solution. First of all, it will be offers extremely trendy designs by following the trendy garments. And secondly, it will be enhanced online presence on e-commerce platform and increase awareness. As what she has mentioned, that we are seldom update our social media accounts. And now we are will be updating more frequently. And next, we will be organized a unique campaign to build brand image and awareness from the public. And lastly, we will be enhanced marketing strategy strategies skill, for example, giving out voucher rebates when customer purchase a certain amount. And what is Mango Give Back 2018? Our campaign is actually in collaboration with the with World Vision. And World Vision is an organization that operates on the theory that by changing the life of children facilitates over it, overall goals and development in the community as it helps communities to build a better future through empowerment, education, income generation and self-sufficiency. And how do Mango's Give Back 2018 works? And every purchase from our customer we will exclude a 20% of the sales and donate it to World Vision. And this is our microsite. As you can see, it's very simple as our team is in ACT. And in the front page of our microsite, we will be uh, showing up our 
latest campaign with Mr. Van Gogh's new black to level 18, and by clicking in into this, we direct you to the next page, which have all the collections of the Van Gogh's new black to level 18. 